Ваше. You understand nothing, Fräulein? Good. You shall come and help us at the hospital. I'm a Belgian. Yes. I am a doctor, but a German afterwards. Let the Bosch lick his own dirty wound. You're a Belgian. I'm a woman. And a Belgian afterwards. That's how I'm going to look at it. Schwester. Schwester? Posten, bitte. Ja. 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 Mein Liebchen. Mein Gar. Ah, gut, gut. Oh, sister, I have arranged for this under officer to be attached to your ward. Yes, but will he understand? No, 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 he speaks the same language. Well, uh, I'm just going off duty. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Sister. Hello, sister. Hello yourself, Scotty. Good mind. Have you heard when they're shifting us lights to young prison camp? No. Now it's time all good little Scotty will fast asleep. Have you said your prayers? No, but I will. Oh, Lord, bless my father and my mother and my Aunt Maggie and make me a good wee laddie. <laughs> and give us a chance, just one chance, Lord, to get out of this blasted country. Amen. Hey, Armen. That's all right. Good night, Scotty. Good night, sister. Take number six is temperature at midnight. Two fermentations on number seven. And don't forget number 17 diet sheet. What are you doing in this hospital? A Belgian. Ask the Oberast. He understands these things. Night pass, eh? Well, what of it? Remember that, Burgermeister. Herr Commandant. Already you've requisitioned two thirds of our livestock and nearly all our farm produce. We Belgians must live. The German army must live. That's all that matters to me. Germany is at war. Germany is blockaded. She threatened with starvation. So are we? She will give you a remedy. What remedy? Tell your dear allies. Your great British Navy, tell them to let our supplies through. Then there will be sufficient for all. So simple. Meanwhile, Bürgermeister, no concealment, no hoarding. Already my men are making search. But there we go. Yeah? Absolutely, I thank you. Herr Commandant. Yeah, no. Besitzer not my volume, Dr. Marzet. Er war der erste, zweite, will der erste Sitzen, Frau, ein Doktor, 22. Come to help us. Sure your German friends can spare you. Out all day with them. While here we are working ourselves to the bone. Food search. Yes, 
When you're fooled, you pick every mouthful we've got and then ask for more. Can we make food? Pardon, Mr. Wine. Wine? Oh, yes. The German wine and German beer bought to you at your own price. How's doing, Zucker? Now then, you, any food? Food? I've forgotten what it looks like. You're wasting your time here, young man. Any livestock? I saw some in the cellar yesterday. What sort? A rat. Go and catch it. You well, at any rate, we've got the gas burning tonight. I've been down to see Jules' mother about a job for him. No good, Jules, coming to Woolley. I told your mother so. Aunt Lucille, we, we thought you were dead. Not me. I got out of town as the Germans got in. I've been with the British ever since. But where have you come from? From the other side of the line. I've been followed. Go to the door and look down into the cafe. Who was following you? One of the German intelligence men. But where have you been? And why? I told you. With the British. I've been working for them. Do you see that fair-haired man talking to the two Germans? Yes. Give him this. Tell him the field is ploughed, but Pernou cannot get the seed. That is the official notice. The field is ploughed, but Pernou can't get the seed. This is the official notice. Uh, I'll try again for you. may take a couple of days. Cigarette? No, thank you. Mademoiselle? You see, what does all this mean? Who is Pernu and what's all this about a cloud to you? Pernu is a code word. Field is ploughed means the attack is prepared. Seed is final information. That's what we are waiting for. You see, are you? Yes, I do what I can. I've just walked forty kilometres to bring a bit of news along. News and gossip, piece them together, and you get the intelligence report. Something headquarters can act on. You know, you could help too. I wonder if I could. What, carry a message now and then, of course yes, you but could. but have I the nerve? You hate the Germans enough. That'll give you all the nerve you want. You have a light in one of the rooms upstairs. You hear? A light in the rooms upstairs. Do you enjoy seeing your mother treated like that? All right. I'll carry messages. That's right. I've got a job for you right away. You know the impasse Leopold? It's up the Grand Place. Yes. We've an agent there. It's the last house, number 63. Knock three times on the shutters, like this. Then twice, like this. A hand will take it. Don't speak. I'd go myself, but I've another job to do. Put it in your hair. Now we must be off. 
Why did she come? How did she get here? How should I know? If any means trouble for us, she's found. Can't you stay and rest here tonight? Does Belgium get any rest? Good night, But I'll you. When shall You'll we... hear from me soon enough, if not from me, from others. You have no special permit to be out after curfew. I'm sorry, Herr Leutnant. I was having a drink and forgot the hour. What? Good night, Frau Leutnant. Get back to your home at once. Is Herr Leutnant Otto Gärtner here? He's upstairs. Now, no, come. Which room did you give them? The drafty one with a hard bed. Every little helps. <laughs> Lettuces and cabbage, please. Lettuces? Two lettuces? Cabbage? Wash them well. You never know what you can find inside a cabbage. How much is it? Four marks. Four marks? Ah, cabbages are scarce in these days. Lucille got across the line, but she was seen. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. You have a name of your own now. Black Pendle. See? What is it? Laura. Use it for all your messages. Here, Ma. This lettuce hasn't got any art in it. It's a Prussian lettuce. Be off with it. You may be a German agent for all we know. How do you know? Two safety pins. Set it aslant. Let me fasten your coat up for you, dearie. Now you know all you need know. And if you're caught, it'll be your own fault. I never said I'd send messages. I only said I'd carry them. You can get a lot of useful information from a hospital. Talk to the wounded men. And if you see them clearing out the place, then you'll know they're expecting a big battle. Watch out for things like that. And let me know. How much is this? Four marks. Four marks? Ah. They're expensive, but then they're scarce, you see. Don't be hasty. They say we all make a mistake sooner or later. Let it be later. The war can't last forever. Cabbages and lettuce. Cabbages? Get a couple of friends over the border if I had money. Five hundred francs. How charming. Haven't you a safety pin? No. What's that? This'll do. Let them hang about with the crowd at the civilian annex. They'll not be missed till roll call. friends of yours are going to a prison camp tomorrow. Prison camp? They're not fit. 
fit or not fit, they're going to swine. Pity your manners aren't better. You seem to be rude to me on purpose. I wonder why. Hey, Schwester, kommen Sie mal her. Just a minute. Oh, haben Sie das gemacht? Das yeah. ist das sehr schön. Schön ist das. Aber nicht, nicht, wissen Sie, sollte er nicht mehr auskommen. I don't know whether we can trust Pierre. He's not one of our regulars. But you can take the risk if you like. If a body is for a prison camp, sister, he'll take any risk. Here's 20 francs. It's all I can manage at the moment. Go to the civilian annex and wait for Pierre. You're for duty with the motor ambulance, sister, at once. I'll finish these dressings. And this time tomorrow you'll be in a prison camp. I hope you enjoy yourselves. Many thanks, Jerry. Civilian annex, half an hour. Five hundred francs. Yes, later. have escaped. My two prisoners? Yes, your two English prisoners. They got hold of some clothes and some money. Where from? Tell me that. Mr. Officer, report this escape immediately to the town commandant. Schwester, Herr Oberarzt, wants you in his office at once. Zwei Engländer. I would like to wring their necks. You can't blame them for wanting to escape from this place. No, 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 no. I was not thinking of that. I was thinking of their wounds. Cannot you see them running across ploughed fields and hiding in ditches? All our work on for nothing. Da. Ah. I wonder... I wonder who helped them. I expect they were just desperate. They were bound for a prison camp, you know. I'm afraid they are only postponing that pleasure. Poor fellows. I'm afraid I am a bad German. Yeah, yeah. Well, the town commandant wants to see you at once. Was wollen Sie? Von ein Nocker. Von ein Nocker, Herr Major. Ja, bitte. Hier? Ja, gut. Wollen Sie sitzen, bitte, mein Fräulein? Sie arbeiten so hart, Sie sagen mir, auf dem Hospital. Sie wollen mich sehen, Herr Kommandant? Oh, wir wollen Sie uns alles erzählen, was Sie wissen. I don't know anything. I was out with the motor accident. No, 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 that can rest. Uh, we are not speaking of that. Uh, you, um, your aunt. That was her name. And Lucille de la Fon. Where is she? We don't know. She disappeared the day our village was occupied. You haven't seen her since? No. She hasn't visited the Café Carillon by any chance? No, we, we've been terribly anxious. Hmm. So. I can relieve your anxiety. She has been seen in this town. But, uh, Please, sit down. Why hasn't she been to see us? Are you sure you're not mistaken? Quite sure, mein Fräulein. We take a deep interest in your aunt's movements. Do you know why? Then I will ask you another question. 
Do you know the penalty uh, for spying, or not only for spying, for harboring, for helping a spy? Yes, I know. Then, as a favor to me, will you be careful? You see, I have many unpleasant duties to perform, but I cannot imagine any more unpleasant than to have to make an example of anyone so charming as yourself. Will you spare me that, please? Your two friends have left and will be in Holland by midnight. Well, what do you want? Got a cut on my wrist. Doesn't look much, but I thought I'd have it seen to. Any objections? How do you like your double job, sister? Double job? Oh, you mean working here and at the hospital? Yes, of course that's what I meant. What did you think I meant? Like a safety pin to fasten the bandage? Why? Have you got one? Haven't you got two? Mourinho. Yes. That's all right. Uh, How you must have been hating me. You certainly scared the life out of me once or twice. How did you know about me? I was told to pass my messages to Laura. Thank you. Then I was told who Laura was. That was a surprise, if you like. Still, we can be friends, can't we? Off duty, I mean. Yes. Off duty. Let's go off duty for a while. Hmm. Now to return to business. You have a young German officer billeted here. He's in the cafe now. Good looking fellow. Oh yes, he's nice. You like him? He's better than most Germans. He's a decoy. What? In the German secret service. Do they suspect me? No. He's there to see that nobody gets any information about the other two. There's something odd about them. They're men of mystery. What is the mystery? Cylinders. Long steel cylinders. Hundreds of them. They came off the train yesterday. What's in them? Nobody knows. Not even the sentries guarding them. And there are bales and bales of cotton wool swabs like this. Look, do you see the elastic attachment? Yes. I wonder what it all means. I tell you, nobody knows. Except Captain Reichman. He came here in charge of the cylinders. He looks more like a professor than a soldier. All the same, he's had three private interviews with the general since he arrived. We must find out what's in the wind. You could help. How? Go and search Reichman's room now. I couldn't do that. Why not? I can't do that sort of thing, that's all. Supposing I was found there. I tell you, sister, you're still far too particular. Can't you hate a bit harder? Do you enjoy having them sitting about on your doorstep all day? Try and imagine they've been there for 40 years. Why? Because that's the length of time they've been sitting on mine. Alsace Lorraine. All right, if you don't, I must. No, no, I'll go. One moment. I shall be in the escamine. If there's any danger, I shall call loudly for brandy. You better take a few things with you. Pretend to clean his room out. Hey, you'll come and have a drink. I've got to clean your room. Oh, let me come and help you. Nice <laughs> Was hören wir jeden Tag. Was sagst du denn dazu? Ja, der Krieg war erst vorüber. Ich gehe ins Bett. Das kennen wir. Das kennen wir. Brandy. Brandy.
Won't you? Won't you join me, my dear? You don't like Germans, eh? I think they're perfectly delightful. Mm -hmm. In their proper place. But you see, Belgium isn't their proper place. Oh, that's all right, my dear. We shan't need Belgium much longer. We shall be in Paris almost immediately. Cali, too. Nothing can stop us now. You seem very positive. I am very positive. Why? Listen. Do you know who's going to win this war for Germany? Generals? No. Admirals? No. The great general starved of us. Who will then? Me, a chemist. I think you'd better have some sleep here, Hauptmann. Tell me, how can chemists win wars? <laughs> I shan't tell you that. <laughs> but I'll tell you something else instead. Yes, I'll tell you something. <laughs> And in the morning, don't forget to bring me up my coffee yourself, see? He's a chemist. Uh, well, I'm... What can a chemist be doing here? Surely they're not going to poison our water supply? Anything else? No, but I saw maps marked with crosses showing prevailing winds. Wind graphs? Zeppelins? But those cylinders don't look like bombs. Pass the word on. something there? Yes, it's from Canteen Mark. It says, weather reports and wind graphs of no value whatever. Confine information to movement of troops. Enough one in the eye for us. <laughs> They're wrong all the same. I know those students are important. Here, have a look at this map. You see, you see that line of dots? Yes. That marks the old town sewer. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been used for a hundred years. Do you see where that line goes past that cross I've made? Well, that's the new dump. Oh. You know what's stored there? The cylinder? Yes. And everything else for a major attack. It's the biggest dump I've seen, and it's got to be destroyed. You mean, you're going to do it yourself? I am. But how are you going to get at it? Along the old sewer tunnel. Look, can you see where it starts? Yes, yes. Well? We can get down into the tunnel from the hospital grounds at night and go right along. We? Yes, I need someone to help me, and you and I can use the hospital grounds without suspicion. Pass the word along to number 63 that you want a couple of sticks of dynamite. Yes. It'll take her a day or so to get it. Yes. Uh, you better meet me tonight outside the uh, civilian hut at 7. We'll have a good look round. Yes. All right? Yes. Uh, that's all. If I'm right, the crossroads are just over a thousand meters from where we are. Mm -hmm. See this string? Mm -hmm. That's 50 meters in length. 20 times the length of this string, and we shall be just under the dam. as you go. The dump ought to be right overhead. You just have to break through to the surface from here. We may come up under the middle of the dump. I hope so. Under the sentry's nose. Oh, we must chance that. Meanwhile, you go after the dynamite. 
I'm sorry to bring you into it. I can't do without you. Herr Commandant, I beg to lodge a respectful protest. Huh? Did it? You've heard of the Hoover Food Commission? Yes, we have not heard of the good Mr. Hoover. Well, you've closed certain roads leading to this town and the provisions can't get through. Yes, I know, but those roads run past very important dumps of ours in which some of your civilians are taking a most impertinent interest. The roads must remain closed. But Herr Commandant... That's final, my friend. No, no. Here, the special medical stores you asked for. About time, too. All right, go on, put them down. Sister, an order has just come through. All wards are to be cleared at once, and all cases evacuated down the line. I'm afraid it's impossible to evacuate the three cases at the end of Ward 16. Ah, well, you can put them in the hut outside, but the wards must be cleared. Pritsky. P66. Pritsky. This means the big attack. Yes, at any time now. Oh, P17. Muller. Muller. P141. They're certain to break through this time. Yes, what makes them so certain? I've thought and thought. P-78. I'd felt. I'd felt. We're going to do something horrible. I know it. I can feel it. No, no. P-150. It's those cylinders. Well, we know what's going to happen to them with any luck at all. Schmidt. Schmidt. When's it going to happen? Tomorrow. Have you broken into the dump yet? Yes, the whole thing reeks. A strong, sickly kind of smell. Chlorine or bromine, I should say. Put the rocket seal. Cylinders, long steel cylinders, hundreds of them. And then there are bales and bales of cotton wool swabs. I saw maps on his table marked with crosses showing prevailing winds. Do you know who's going to win this war for Germany? A chemist. What do you mean? That's what the ammonia's for, an alkali, an antidote. My God. Get out of here, quick. Make some excuse. Pretend you're ill. Get to number 63. Pass the word along. I'll attend to the dump now if it's not too late. My God, Colleen Gas, it'll tear their lungs out. Come on. They've shot number 63. Who did it? Otto. It was awful. I heard the scream. There, there. We better wait. 
wait until the night convoy moves off. They may send for me from the hospital. I'll take a chance now. You go back. But who'll hold the trap open for you? I can leave that open. No, I'll stay. If I'm caught, run for it. Promise. and then up she goes. Where's the master? Wanted. Hospital. Schnell. Schnell. But my daughter is not... All right, not... she's in bed. I'll go up and wake her. Yes, she, she's in bed. She's dressing. She'll be over directly. at the hospital. They sent a message. Did they find out I wasn't here? No. Be quick. Spy, spy, spy. Secret agent in this miserable town of yours. It's an outrage. I'm sorry, Herr Commandant. You're sorry. Oh, but you frequently reminded me that there's a war on, and war is war. War is an affair of soldiers, not of civilians. One of your civilians has done this, and I'm going to find him, and then he will be shot. But first, Herr Commandant, you must find him. I will find him. And the same fate awaits anyone who harbors him. Anyone, even yourself, Herr Burgermeister. I'm glad of that, Herr Commandant. Glad? Glad and proud. So. Zero hour. The attack starting now. God help them. I wonder if those cylinders went up with a dump. You mean we were too late? We shall soon know. Angriff auf der ganzen Linie erfolgreich. Kinder, das ist ja wunderbar. Das ist ja großartig. Well, we must be prepared for a number of gas cases in this world presently. Serious, serious cases. Gas? Yeah. You mean poison gas? Uh-huh. Herr Oberer! You're using poison gas on our men, mm. and you ask me to go on helping you? It is not I who need your help now, sister. It is your own countrymen. How can you be so calm, so callous? It is a doctor's duty to appear calm. Sometimes, even callous. Otherwise, he would not be much of a doctor. Hold on to that, my dear. The same thing applies to nurses. How can I be calm? My brothers are in it. Ah. Now, please, fix your mind on one thing and one thing only. There are men who need your help. Alleviate, comfort, heal. That is our privilege. Please, now. Thank you. 
And bring some ammonia and some oxygen. It will be of great help. Get your people away before I give orders to fire. Quick, quick, I warn you. Dinner, my children. Have patience. Enough has been done already. Patience, I implore you. I beg of you. Stefan, do be careful. Pull yourself together. What are you thinking about? All this fuss and excitement. It can only be for one person. The Kaiser? Hmm. Is he coming here? He must be. If he could only find out when and where. Won't you laugh at sea?
Wie geht's? Working hard? Mm -hmm. I think you need a holiday. What, with this place to be got ready for inspection? Ah, that's some way off. Very soon I go to Brussels. Why don't you go? It's easy if one has the authority. No, that's quite impossible. Why? Good wine, good food, nice dresses. These things can all be obtained in Brussels if one has the authority. Hmm? Commandant? Yeah? Auf Wiedersehen. Did you find out anything? No, except that he's going to Brussels. Going to Brussels? You call that nothing? Why, it's everything. It means that the Kaiser isn't coming here yet. It gives us time to find things out, make arrangements. He... He asked me to go with him. There's a piece of luck. You'll be able to find out the exact date of the Kaiser's visit here, the exact hour. Get it out of him, and we'll notify the British Flying Corps. If we can bring it off, it might end the war. Just to knock out. To Ward 16, please. They all make one mistake. They caught Canteen Ma, and she was so fond of warning others. I know. Poor old woman. Smart. They mustn't get you. You've done enough. Stop while you're safe. Oh, Can you spare a poor soldier a bite of breakfast tomorrow morning at five? On a Sunday? Sunday? What does Sunday mean to the poor old infantry? Sew this button on, will you? All the weakness in spit and polish and elbow grease for a blasted inspection. And now, on Sunday, there is to be a full church parade. You see the idea? What idea? For six days, they polish our outsides. And now, on Sunday, they must make some polish of the insides. Done by a bishop, too. Where's the parade to be? In the town square? Square? Oh, no. That would be too easy. It would be coddling the troops. We must make a march for two hours to some godforsaken open field near Vestrusebecker. Of course, it is a great honor to have your soul dressed and cleaned by a bishop, but for me, I would rather rest Sundays and stay dirty. Don't go soon, Mutter, don't go soon. This is where I can help. Oh, good day, Malta. Good day. Well, what is it now? Will you have this prescription made up for me as soon as possible, please? Certainly, my dear. At once. About. Who told you to get up? To have Urlaub. Holiday. Listen, please. All convalescents are to attend church parade this morning. By kind invitation of the bishop. Sister, you will go with them. I? Yeah. A transport has been arranged. Besides, they may require your help. The sister has much to do. Can I go instead? No, no, your place but is here. But, Herr Oberarzt, I am the order on duty. I should go. You hear what I see? Your place is here. When you come back, please report to me. I have news for you. What sort of news? That you will hear in good time. Be off now, or you may be late. Ciao. Good 
You mustn't go. Make some excuse. I must go. If anything happens, these men will need looking after. I suppose something will happen. If your message gets through, nothing can stop it. Do you want to stop it? I'd give anything in the world to stop it. Now. Yes, Come, come, Dante. See what over us. Want to see you? Does that mean they know? Good God, how could they know? I don't know. I fully realize, sister, that you are having a very distressing time, working under almost impossible circumstances. We can, in some small measure, make amends for that. I have come and that. has something to say to you. 
His Majesty the King of Württemberg has graciously awarded the Iron Cross to Fräulein Marthe Nockhardt for services to the German army. This is one of the highest honors which His Majesty can bestow. I have no doubt. His Majesty would be still further gratified if he were aware of the noble part you played in this morning's church parade. Was haben Sie denn, liebes Kind? Hm? Was ist denn? Hm? I'm sorry. I told you, you needed a holiday. Yes, what is it? Going away somewhere? Yes. Brussels? Yes. With? Yes. You're not? What do you mean? I tell you, you're not going. You've changed your mind, haven't you? But, Martha, the whole thing's unthinkable. Now. But you said it was a piece of luck to be able to go. But don't you see? I love you. I love you, too. But that makes no difference to the work we've got to do. Don't we owe something to ourselves? Supposing you do take the risk and go to Brussels, and even you can't find out the information we want. Not. Not. There must be others in the town who know the date of the visit. I'll find out. I'll get it out of the opera arts. You'll know. Stefan, listen. You know there's only one way to find out what we've got to find out. You know we've got to get the news to the flying force. You know there's only one way to end all this misery. That's why I'm going to Brussels. I'm going to Brussels, Palace Hotel. Send a reliable man to stay near me. I may have a message to send, quickly. I'll see the goods are delivered at the Palace Hotel, mademoiselle. I go up to my room. Do you mind? Auf Wiedersehen. Kellner. 
Tonight you shall have it tonight. If not, you shall have it tomorrow. I see. I wish I could help you. Will you try looking through these? Tja, I felt very lonesome without you. Forgive me, I'm a little fatigued. All the work at the hospital, the Kaiser's visit. He'll be missing me. Don't distress yourself. I have to be back in time for the all highest visit, too. If I'm in time, you will be in time. When do you go back? Mm, on Friday. His Majesty arrives on Saturday morning. At about 11 o'clock, I suppose. Mm-hmm. 11 o'clock, exactly. How long will he stay? Mm, two hours, I should say. You see? He can forget everything. Except our little holiday. Sit here, Louis. Sit here, Louis. Where is the man? Can I have a bit of a nap? 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 Can No, were you trying to run away from me? No, but I, I've changed my mind. I can't stay, really. Please forgive no, me. I must have been mad. Know. I ought never no, to no, have no. come. Let me go. No, no, yes, There's nothing to be frightened of. I must go tonight. Mm -hmm. I've been seen here with you. The world will go round. You know what Belgians think of their women who are too friendly with you Germans. Please let me go. Please let me go. It's too late now, my dear. You stay. Haven't you heard? Kaiser's visit has been cancelled. Good thing. We don't want him here. I sent your order to the Palace Hotel. I hope it arrived safely. Yes. This officer says that he found you with his watch in your hand. Now tell me where you found it. Don't be afraid. It's in a hole, a big hole. We didn't steal it. We just found it. Mm-hmm. There was a source. He means the old tunnel, Herr Commandant. The part that was blown up. Is that right? Yes, the place where the dump was blown up. Mm -hmm. The dump was blown up. It's the sun.
I'm glad you are back, sister. We have missed you. All of us. Come, there are some cases I want to do. What's for me? Herr Bürgermeister, you are always complaining of German injustice. We Germans have no desire to take unjust advantage of our strength. There, as a pledge of good faith, I disarm myself. <laughs> Herr Commandant, I also. Sehr <laughs> 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 gut. Herr Bürgermeister. One of our soldiers has been arrested for looting. Oh? These articles have been found in his possession. Are all these? Yes. Yeah. Of yours. It was stolen. How do you know? It's been found. Oh, on a soldier. Oh, I'm so glad. I'll go and get it now. I missed it badly. It's in the Burgomaster's office. Burgomaster? Da. Good morning, Burgomaster. Good morning, my lady. I came to see if my. Oh, yes, so it is. Your watch? Yes. Will you sign here, mademoiselle, please? Thank you. Good morning. Come here, your Frau Lein Lockhart. What? Got to swim. Oh. I, uh, I've just found my watch. Lucky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, I knock out. Yes? I have orders to arrest you. <gasps> Here, I'm taken. To kill you. You can't do that. Lord, 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 Martha, I'm sorry to see you here. What does all this mean? I have some questions to ask you, Matt. It's my duty. And duty comes before sentiment. The watch was not stolen. It was found. Found in the old tunnel, near where the dump was blown up. 
Well, I suppose the thief must have dropped it. No, 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 not the thief. Somebody else. Somebody called Laura, perhaps. Yes, yes, Laura's a Belgian agent. Messages signed by Laura have been intercepted. It's usually written on cigarette papers. Similar cigarette papers have been found in your room, Martha. Well, what of that? Thousands of people use the same kind of cigarette so paper. you suggest that it is just a coincidence. Of course, huh? coincidences are always happening. That's true, very true. Indeed, I have a feeling that another coincidence is about to happen this morning. Another? Yes, look at your watch. It's 11 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock this morning, His Imperial Highness the Kaiser was coming to this town. You knew that, didn't you? Of course. You told me so yourself. Yes, and very sweetly you got it out of me. But let that rest. Being so near the line, this would have been a marvelous opportunity for the enemy aeroplanes. Assuming that word had been conveyed to them. Why, Laura, for instance. Do you mean to suggest wait, that wait, I... wait, let us suppose that word has been conveyed. What may we expect? The British air in force at any minute. Don't be alarmed, we have taken steps in this matter. If the raid does take place, won't that be another rather remarkable coincidence? You're talking nonsense. No, I'm not so sure, my dear. Sir, there's your coincidence. Now, what do you say, my dear? I admit nothing, and you can prove nothing. Let's be reasonable, Master. I want to be your friend. Sit down, yes? Sit down, please. You know what happens to a spy. I'm a German and a soldier, but I'm also a man, Master. Nothing like that can happen to me. I'm not guilty. Forgive me, but we know all about you. I want you to save yourself. Tell me the names of your accomplices. I have no accomplices. Tell me who they are. And I will make a concession for your sake. And put them in a place where they can do no more harm for the time being. I know what happens to a spy. You've told me so yourself. Tell me the names. And you shall go free. Tell me, my dear. I, I want to save you so I'm much. I'm afraid I... you're wasting your time here, Commandant. Dead man, von Reinhardt. Wache. Von Anoka, you are under arrest. Genem spy. So persistent. And so relentless in her activities that the death of hundreds of German soldiers can be directly laid to her account. There can be but one penalty for such a crime, and that penalty I now demand of this court in the name of common justice and our common fatherland, the penalty of death. Certainly she claimed her watch. She said it had been stolen. And you believed her? I believed her, Herr President. With 20,000 German troops in the town, my only wonder was that she kept it so long. Burgermaster, you are not here to cast us Persians on our brave troops. Let us get back to the accused. She is charged with being a spy. You mean she is being charged with being sympathetic towards our poor country? In that case, Herr President, why waste time? Why not shoot us all? Begin with me. Silence! By all means, Herr President, I've made my protest. It's the 42nd protest of the same kind I've made within the last 12 months, and I'm not nearly tired yet. Excellency. Ich denke, wir verlieren keine Zeit und vernehmen erst einmal die nächsten Zeugen. Danke. Und Offizier Stefan Dessert. Und Offizier Stefan Dessert. Schwöre. You recognize the prisoner? Look at her. Yes, Herr Commandant. You worked in close contact with her in the hospital? Yes, Herr Commandant. Did her conduct ever give you cause for suspicion? No, Herr Commandant. Is she the sort of woman likely to act upon her own initiative, take her own line? No, Herr President. What makes you think so? Because she has neither the brains nor the courage. In my opinion, there is someone else higher up. Find him. Silence! It is not your business to instruct the court. I ask your pardon, Herr President. I was carried away by my feelings. Many of my friends have lost their lives to these spies. That will do. 
Stay in court. I ask the court to be as lenient to this woman as possible. She is accused of causing the death of German soldiers. Of that I know nothing, but I can tell you this. She has been the cause of cheering and saving the lives of countless others. I would ask you, Herr President, to take that into your consideration. I will hear the defense. I have nothing to say. From the evidence, it's obvious the accused is guilty. On that count, she will expect no mercy. But there's a more important end to be gained from this trial than the shooting of a single misguided, unhappy woman. And that is the breaking up of the organization which she represents. Therefore, I propose that the extreme penalty of death be remitted. If she will tell us the name of the men under whose direct order she has been acting. The court agreed. For the last time, who is this man? I will speak, and I say this. I do not recognize this court, nor its authority, nor any verdict which it may return. You are Germans and our enemies. You have invaded our country without excuse, without warning. In attacking us, you plead military necessity. We plead military necessity in defending ourselves. You call me a spy, an agent. And you ask me whose agent I am, I will tell you. I am the agent of Belgium. And so is every decent man and woman in this country of ours. And so we shall remain until you are driven out of it. As you will be. That is my defense. And my confession. It's a terrible duty to condemn a fellow creature to death, especially when that fellow creature is a woman. But you have been proved directly responsible for the death of many of our fellow countrymen. The sentence of this court is that at an hour and place to be appointed, you be taken out and shot to death. Judgment in the name of his imperial majesty. Excellence, the witness Stefan Dessa desires to offer further testimony. I want no further testimony. I accept sentence. Come forward. I tell you, I accept sentence. You wish to make a statement? Yes, Excellency. But first, if I tell you the name of this man, does your promise to the prisoner hold good? Assuredly. No, Stefan, no! Arrest that man. Can there be no reprieve? Have you tried everybody? The governor of Belgium, the commander in chief? The... I've appealed and appealed. Now, now, you... You must be brave. Like him. Have you seen him? Yes. I was allowed to see him this morning. For the last time. He asked about you, and... I told him that your life was to be spared, after all. But, oh, you should have seen his face, Mart. He was like a man transfigured. He... He asked me to say goodbye to you, and give you this message. I leave all my love, he said. All my love to help her along until the happy days come to her again. 
As I'm sure they will, Burgomaster. As I'm sure they will. Those were his words, my dear, and he spoke like a man who knew. And so the day shall come at last for the people of the earth to live again without sorrow and hatred. The sword shall be put away, the blood and the tears shall cease to flow. The plowshares shall move again over the earth and children shall run behind them. For the people of the earth shall have moved through great travail into peace, through darkness into light.